Hi, I'm Mike Edwards. The website is diydoctor.org.uk. Um, we are down in Wiltshire at the moment um, at Bradley House in Wiltshire, Maiden Bradley. Uh, and this house is owned by the Duke of Somerset, who's asked us to come down and have a look at some restoration work. I've inherited a dog. Um, <laughs> And we're going to be putting right some, some pointing on some brick walls and some uneven patios and some bits and pieces that we're going to make videos of so that you can see them all over the site. Um, and we'll be getting on with that quite quickly. Um, I promised the Duke that I, I would tell you that Bradley House is available for weddings. Um, you, can, you can hire the house for a weekend or a week's holiday or whatever. Just contact Bradley House um, and, and make the arrangements directly with the staff. Um, but we're down here in these beautiful surroundings to hopefully make the surroundings just that little bit better um, and to make sure they stay here for a few more years. So enjoy the videos. Hi, I'm Mike Edwards. The website is diydoctor.org.uk. We're doing a very, very brief product review um, on using a generator. This particular generator is a Wolf Power 2800LR generator. A very very powerful machine um, and very reliable as well. It runs on ordinary unleaded petrol um, and that goes into quite a large tank, holds uh, a little over a gallon um, or five litres in new money and uh, it's also got a, um, a gauge on the top. You can't quite see it, it's a little bit out of shot but it tells you how much uh, petrol you've got left. Very very simple operation, there's a pull cord on the side that we'll be using in a moment um, but the main controls are on the front. This is the on-off switch for the generator. Um, if you want the engine to run, you put it on on. And obviously if you want to turn it off, you put it on off. So we'll put it on for now because we're going to turn it on in a moment. Along a little bit further, there's a voltmeter here. Um, and when the engine's running, you can see whether or not the generator is working properly. And this will read um, 240 to 250 volts. So this generator is generating um, a, a 240 volt power supply which is enough to drive electric drills etc um, on site. Um, you're gen generally on, on a building site you're, the tools that you use are limited to 110 volt for safety um, but for little jobs around the house or whatever where you can't get any electricity um, uh, an extension cable to then a generator is perfect. There is a circuit breaker switch a little bit further along um, and that supplies the electricity to the two power outlets that we have there. So in a moment we're going to start the generator, we're going to plug our extension lead in and we're going to carry on drilling some holes. So we'll leave the circuit breaker off for now, make sure the engine switch is on and then we'll go around to this side of the machine and there's a little choke setting here which to start the generator we push across to give it some choke. Make sure that the fuel switch is in line with the fuel coming out of the tank. That means that it's open. And then all we've got to do is pull the power cord. And if you can still hear me, once we've fired the engine, we turn the choke off and that's running. So it's a quiet machine for the power it gives. If you zoom back in onto the to the voltmeter, you can see that if I turn that on, the needle shoots straight up to 250 volts. So all we have to do now, there's no need to do it in shot, but all we need to do now is plug our extension lead into the generator and we can run lawn mowers or electric drills or whatever it is, the jobs that we're doing outside, very useful bit of kit, recommended, the Wolf Power 2800LR generator recommended by DIY Doctor.